tier four raiding and a fifth raid attack. What? <laughs> Welcome back to another dev update. This week we've got tons of information to go through and a lot of surprises. No mucking around, let's dig straight in. It's literally hasn't even been out an hour and I've just, I briefly read it through on my phone and I had to record it straight away and get it straight out there because things recently, after 5.0 update, it's just getting better and better. We're getting more uh, raiding, really ri uh, ripping apart, more uh, content and more mechanics. There's none of these add-ons, it's actual big game changes. So let's see what Lemmy has to say. Hi everyone, Lemmy Lama here. After hearing all the excitement about what's coming in version 5.4.0 and all the guesses as to what is coming, I have a nice surprise for you all. Today, I'll be discussing two new features that are highly requested from the community rather than just one. And then we'll delve into the largest change coming in version 5.4.0. So let's get into it. First off, we'll continue with last week's theme of raid accessibility. So raid keys should help can start up uh, raids each week, no matter how many players you have, with an addition of a new feature, raid targeting. Now this is absolutely dope, I cannot wait. Grandmasters and Masters are able to organise everyone in their clans to work together and defeat Titans whether you are a newer or older player. Now with raid targeting, your clan leadership will be able to mark parts of the Titan Lords to avoid or specifically focus on, allowing players to easily see the strategy that your clan will be following. No more players accidentally hitting Marker's Torso, Martyrs and Grandmasters will be able to set this strategy anytime, including the, during the pre uh, preparation phase of the raise and to help your clan to see the strategies and prepare their decks for battle. Raid targeting is set per Titan, so you can easily set up different strategies for each Titan Lord and any area or enemy uh, bosses, uh, bonuses they have. This is absolutely amazing, a game changer, because uh, the only problem that smaller clans and other clans might have is that they, if they don't have an efficient Discord uh, team or strategy going on, there's a lot of communication, a lot of wastage. Even with high level clans, top leader clans, there's still wastage and mistakes happening. So this should eliminate that totally. There should be no excuses on, on accidentally wasted damage or hitting the wrong body part because it is physically shown to you on every Titan what's a hit. So the only problem you have would be what decks and what meta decks to use, which is, uh, basically cuts down um, all, and all that I say, miss attacks and stuff like that. So that's going to be a huge help, especially for beginner players. So when that comes out, Obviously, we'll rip it apart. We'll probably have to do new uh, decks and decks guide because there is going to be a rebalancing of uh, cards coming as well, which we'll go into now. So now raid targeting is going to be even more important due to the big change that I'll be adding in tier four, tier four raids, baby, with the addition of clan morale into the game. We expect that players are going to really start pushing through raids and reaching the end of current tier three raid content. Now with tier four, we are hoping to add an additional challenge as well as more uh, avenues to work together with your clan. This comes in the form of cursed armor. So you've got naked skeleton, which obviously nothing, that's when you broke it apart, body type, armor type, and now cursed type. This comes um, in the form of cursed armor, a new powerful armor that the Dark Lord, you son of a gun, uh, has developed that will make the Titan Lords more difficult to defeat. Cursed armor is normal armor layered on a certain Titan Lord part, so it would be affected by armor specific cards such as Fragmentize or Prismatic Rift, and you need the extra damage since cursed armor protects the Titan, Lord's part, um, Titan Lord by applying a debuff as long as the cursed armor is active on the Titan. You can remove this curse by taking the armor cursed um, by uh, breaking the armor. Cursed armor can show up two to four titan lord parts and you may need to, to decide to change your strategy to ensure you remove the cursed armor and the cursed armor that it brings the cursed armor is diminished with each part you break so work together with your clan to focus down the cursed armor piece by piece so it sounds like um for the high tier fours 
uh, when you did get the cursed armor, because it says two to four, you probably have got to focus on those parts first, then the rest of the armor and body and break it down. So it might be, um, so even though there's specifically showing, I wonder if you can show it in order. So you know, one, two, three, four, that would be quite good. I doubt that add that. I think they're just shown which body parts to break um, and which to leave out, not in specific order. We don't know until it comes out, but that would be handy as well. However, it's not only the Dark Lord that has been working in tier 4 raids, everyone will unlock the fifth raid attack, Ooh. Uh, allowing to use an additional deck to tackle all titans, uh, titans with the additional power of your decks. We expect that everyone will be able to break through that cursed armor and defeat the Titan Lords. As for players worries about the fifth deck not being powerful as the other strong decks they've been working on, stay tuned next week for some card balance changes we have coming, and that should uh, and should have you excited to dust off some of the less used cards. Because they use the word dust off, I don't know if like I'm probably overreading it. I'm probably overreading into that sentence. But when it says dust off some of your less used cards. I wonder with this rebalancing, they'll do a dust reset as well. Well, because obviously dust off, dust reset. I don't know if that was a hint or I'm reading into it. Let me know what you guys think in the comment below. If they did a rebalancing and dust reset, you can say you can re uh, level up all your cards from scratch. That would make sense and that would help out everyone. Um, so let me know if you think that's what it means. Um, with all these changes coming to normal clan raids, we also make sure that other aspects of raiding solar raids are not forgotten about. As such, we're implementing one of the community's most requested features, solo raid fast travel. Yes, finally, finally, not spending 30, 40 minutes in solar raids at a time tediously week by week. For all the players having completed all 50 portals, we know that the early portals are easy for you to complete. As such, players who have cleared all the solar raids will be given an option when selecting the first portal to play through them normally or fast travel to the higher portals. Now, when you do fast travel, you still get the rewards for all the portals you skipped, but you will be removed from the solar raid leaderboard. So you need to decide if you want to compete for the top spots or take it easy like Rick. So that's the obvious one. Obviously, take it easy if you're not at the top you know, if you're not a top player, top 10. By the way, is it actually rewards for the top spots, like the top 10 spots? I'm I'm way nowhere near that. I'm like hundreds away. So I'm not too sure. But if there is rewards, can, can you let me know in the comments below? Because I haven't actually looked into that. If there's actually any benefit for speeding it and getting for the top spots. And if so, what are they? Is it top five, top 10, top 20? Uh, let me know, let me know. As part of the Diamond Giveaway, we got crash. congratulations to these three people, uh, Dorado, Dorado Vi Viki, and Matsuri Mari. Sorry about pronunciations, I suck. For the being, uh, for being our lucky winners, who have guessed correctly that highly requested features would be announced in this week's dev update. As for everyone else who participated, some of you were able to guess correctly on other features coming up in 5.4. Point oh, and I've recorded uh, I've recorded anything that isn't coming in the next update to discuss with our design team for the future. Thank you so much for your participation and for our winners. Please check your Reddit messages so I can get your player IDs and send out your diamonds. And this is please, uh, please join us next week as we wrap up features coming with 5.0 because there is no announcement date. So I reckon it'll be another, because she says wrapping up, so I reckon next week is when I obviously mentioned about uh, the cards rebalancing, so exactly which cards are going to be affected, if there's going to be a dust reset, um, and also I reckon I'll give a, a date for when it, the actual 5.4 will be released. I'm guessing, uh, it's always like on a Monday or Tuesday, I think Tuesday, so I'm guessing I'll be the 20th or 27th of April, that's just my guess, I reckon it'll be after the end of the current uh, event, which I think is in 10 days, so it could be 27th, because that'll be in between two events, that's just a guess, I'm not entirely sure, still completely guessing at the moment, but that's huge, so we've got tier 4, 5th raid attack, rebalancing of decks, and the cursed armor so much to go through um i'm excited don't know about you guys but lots go in thank you lemmy for the latest updates thank you guys for watching if you're new here make sure you're subbed and uh, hit the notification so as soon as this information comes out you are notified straight away apart from that have a great day and a great weekend and i'll see you all soon take care bye